There are a lot of things that are true that do not save. Jesus Christ is not one of the ways to God. Jesus is the only way. Jesus is not a part of the truth. He is the truth. Jesus is not someone you add to make your life richer. Jesus is life. He said, I am is come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. I am the door of the sheepfold. If you come in any other way, you come in as a thief and a robber. I am the good shepherd who lays down his life for the sheep. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live again. And he that lives and believes in me shall never die. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the bread of life. I am the water of life. He is the fountain from which all else flows. He is the root out of which all else grows. He has nothing without Him. Everything is about Him. In Him we live, we move, and we have our being. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. There is none like Him. He's in a class all by himself. The more I call him, the sweeter it sounds. Jesus early in the morning. Jesus at noonday. Jesus in the midnight hour. There's power in that name. There's strength in that name. There's joy, there's hope, there's peace. There's deliverance in the name of Jesus. And, and we, many of us, have been to Calvary for pardon. But we haven't been to Pentecost for power. And so we are kind of timid and sheepish about what we believe. Because we don't really know if it's true or not. But the reason I preach with power is because I know he was born of a virgin. That, that's historical evidence. That's, that's biblical evidence to prove that he was born in Bethlehem, reared in Nazareth, baptized in the Jordan, performed miracles in a desert place, healed the sick, raised the dead, gave sight to the blind, made the lame walk, cured a woman with an issue of blood, died one Friday, Got up early one Sunday morning, seated at the right hand of God with power, coming back again in his glory. I believe that, so I preach it with power. When you love, you give, and you run the risk of being rejected. He came unto his own. I wish I had a Bible reading. And his own received him not. But to as many as received him, to them gave he power to be called the sons of God. God gave everything he had in Jesus Christ. Jesus came and became my sacrifice. 
He died in my place. He took my place on the cross. He died as a ransom for my sin. He became my substitute. He went to the cross for me. And God gave his uniquely born son, Jesus. Now some of y'all look like you're ashamed to call that name. But there's salvation in that name. There's power in that name. There's joy and peace in that name. There's hope and wholeness in that name. There is no other name given among men whereby we must be saved except the name Jesus. That at the name of Jesus every knee must bow. Every tongue confess. His love is global. His love is sacrificial. And his love is personal. Whosoever, whosoever. Calvinism says that Jesus died only for the elect. But John 3.16 said God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever. Drunk? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Liar. Come on. Adulterer. Come on. Backslider. Whoever you are, whosoever wills, let him come. St. Paul nailed it when he said, Rejoice in the Lord. And again, I say, Rejoice. James comes back and says, count it all joy. The secret of Christian joy hangs on two words, then and when. John 20, 20 says, then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord. Then and when, when you see the Lord, then you will be glad. When you see him high and lifted up and his train fills the temple, then you will be glad. When disease attacks your body, you will see him as the great physician, and then you will be glad. When you are burdened beyond your bearing, and you see him as your burden bearer, then you will be glad. When you feel lonely and forsaken, and indeed you may be, and you see him as the friend that sticketh closer than a brother, saying, I will never leave you nor forsake you, even to the ends of the earth, then will you be glad. When you are in a financial crisis and you see him as your source, as your Jehovah Jireh, as the Lord who supplies, then you will see the rivers of living water whose leaf will not wither and you will be glad. Mary saw him as a baby in Bethlehem's manger. The disciples saw him as a great teacher, as a rabbi. The Pharisees thought of him as a demonized heretic. Rome saw him as an insurrectionist too dangerous to live. But when we see him him as he is. He is the bright and the morning star. He is the king of all kings. He is the Lord of all lords. He is the light of the world. He is the Lord of glory and our soon coming king. God is our strength. God 